Hello and welcome to my introduction to the Primstar 2 development version. I assume that you have installed and activated Primstar 2 on Blender 2.6. I will focus on the parts for creating sculpted prims. Please be aware that Primstar 2 does only work with Blender versions starting from Blender 2.59. So, let us begin. First, ensure that Primstar 2 is installed and activated in Blender. Open the user preferences, and then navigate to, add-ons. Then search for Primstar. You should find an entry similar to what you see here, and it should be activated. If you cannot find this entry, then please install Primstar 2 now. You can get the add-on from the Jazz Shop in Second Life, or from the Machine Matrix website. I also want to remind you that Primstar 2 is not yet feature complete. Hence we have added a warning message that this add-on is still under development. You find update information by clicking on the link to the Primstar 2 homepage. Here you find the latest updates, the reference guide, and many video tutorials. So, let's clean up the screen, and then add a Sculpty. You find a set of ready-made basic shapes under Add, Mesh, UV Shape As soon as you select one of the basic shapes, you find a new panel in the tool shelf on the left side of your 3D view. This is called the Operator Panel. Here you can customize your basic shape with a number of parameters. Unfortunately you cannot see nicely how the model changes while you modify the settings, and this is not very convenient. But we can change this in the preferences. Let us return to the start screen. Then open the preferences again. And proceed to the edit section. Here enable, enter edit mode. Do not forget to save as default. From now on Blender creates objects in edit mode. Let me quickly create a new screen layout for this video. This helps me to show in more detail what exactly happens when I later change the parameter settings. I rearrange the windows a bit. Open the right sidebar of the 3D view and open another window for the UV image editor. And in the editor, I opened the editor's properties panel. Finally I changed the zoom settings, so that later the sculpted prints show up with a more convenient display size. I switched the properties window to the object data section. Select the default screen again. And finally I save as defaults. From now on, I always find my customized screen in the screen layout list. So, we are ready to create another UV sphere and take a closer look on the parameters.